Before it reaches your plate, fresh produce often undergoes primary processing. This may be as simple as this trimming of cauliflower as it is harvested. To make the produce more appealing and attractive to the consumer. There are several reasons food undergoes such primary processing. Some have implications for the environment and sustainability of our food production. The problems of man with food. Think about these as we look at some of the primary processing fresh produce undergoes. Root veg such as potatoes, carrots and parsnips are washed to remove soil, stone, insects and other contamination. This makes them the more convenient for the consumer but uses large amounts of water which must be dealt with after use. You can still buy mucky carrots from local farms and shops. As well as being washed, root vegetables are graded at the same time. Damaged and diseased produce is removed, as are small or misshaped ones. Other produce such as sprouts, tomatoes, cucumbers and peppers are graded as they are packaged ready for the shop. Any damaged and diseased produce is removed. Small or misshapen ones are also generally removed which are fine to eat but are perceived as less appealing and attractive to consumers. The campaign to reduce food waste by encouraging us to eat ugly veg that are still safe, healthy and nutritious is trying to address this. Once washed as required and graded, the fresh produce is then labelled and wrapped or packaged. Packaging can be important in keeping the food safe to eat as well as making it appealing and attractive to consumers. It does have implications for the environment because of the use of non-renewable energy sources to make it and its disposal afterward. It is up to the consumer to decide the amount of packaging that is sustainable and let the food retailers know. The storing of all harvested produce for a period of time is a requirement of the modern food production system. When a whole year's crop output is ripe and ready for harvest in a very short time window. Sometimes ripe produce can be stored by simply not harvesting it. Like these cabbages which are stored growing in the field. They are just harvested as required over the winter. Carrots are more susceptible in inclement weather such as frost but can still be stored in the ground where they grew. They just need covering with straw to protect them from frost. They can then be harvested over winter when needed. Some produce such as sprouts, broccoli and these peas can be stored for long periods by deliberately freezing them in a way that preserves them rather than destroys them. Another development of primary processing is that it has allowed us to wash, sort, grade and package food in such a way that we can transport it around the world such that the foods remain safe, appetising, palatable, appealing, attractive and convenient to store and use.
No longer are we dependent on locally grown seasonal fruit and vegetables. They can be transported around the world in no time. But as we have tried to illustrate and make you think, this choice and availability has consequences in terms of the environment, food security and the sustainability of continued food production.